All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing a Dragon Age Origins Let's Play. I played this game a couple years, or about 10 years ago. Yeah, showing my age. Uh, came out in 2009, started playing in about 2011. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory and we have kept our vigil we have watched and waited for the darkspawn to return but those who once called us heroes have forgotten we are few now and our warnings have been ignored for too long seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. All right, that was an interesting little cutscene. In the background, you select to determine which of the six distinct opening stories you will play through. It, is all, it also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. All right. You know... I don't know what I want to play. We'll do Elven, Mage, Dalish. It's gonna give me a bow because it's still gonna give me the the background of the um, Dalish. I tested it earlier because I was curious about it. The mod I have. It's like when I have this, this isn't normal either. But I don't like the Circle of Magi storyline on here. But 
You know what? For the sake of the let's play, we'll do a storyline. That way you guys can see exactly how it is. If people are watching this and are new to the game, I don't want to throw them off a little bit. I don't want to throw them off. There we go. Uh, next. I'm liking that. I could I know I could do all that. We'll do portrait. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna rename myself to Commander. Next. I'll read all these later. I wanna get in and not make the first episode take like twenty hours, so um Mages, okay, you can cast more spells thanks to a deeper mana pool. Okay, we'll do that. We'll get them both to 19. Persuasion. Definitely be doing healing. We'll do healing and drain life. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalenhag stands the Tower Fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for... Some nice-looking armor they have, the Templars. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinter Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fae, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fae, and there you will face a demon armed with only your will. I am ready. Is there any other option? What other... or what happens if I cannot defeat the demon? It will turn you into an abomination and the Templars will be forced to slay you. This is Lirin, the very essence of magic and your gateway into the Fae. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeed, so shall you. Keep your wits about you and remember that faith is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is king. The apprentice must go through this test alone, Erkin son. You are ready. Why did you seem like a dick there for, or, um, uh, whatever your name is? Knight Captain or Knight Commander? I don't remember what his rank was. Survive the harrowing. You face your harrowing, the rite of passage that marks your transition from apprentice to mage. 
you have been thrown into the fade to fend off the demons that you see as a gateway to into the world prove that these demons have no hold over you and that you are fit to wear the mantle of a circle mage base of healing disturbing statue Looks like we got ourselves a nice little combo going. One, three. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this to the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. <clears throat> Is this the fade? You're a talking rat. No, this isn't right at all. I will succeed, right or not. Well, you say that now. So have many others before you. Look at me. Look at what can happen. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was. Aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the fate. You can call me... Well, Mouse. Not your real name, I take it. You took the heroin. You can change your shape. Um, not your real name. Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you fail, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim, and you don't have much time before you end up the same. What am I supposed to do? How long do I have exactly? That's not going to happen to me. I'm sorry for what happened. It's not going to happen to me. That has been said before, but you don't know the danger. There's something here contained. Just an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you, a tease for the creatures of the Fade. Anything can die, I doubt it's as simple as that. Why pit me against such a creature? I don't understand why this test is so feared. Anything can die. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here, other spirits. They will tell you more. We be helped. If you can believe anything you see, I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. A all right. Spirit is not Interesting. Far. Can't move. Okay. Can only zoom out. Interesting. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. By each other, we're not warriors, I agree, but didn't have a choice. You know why I'm here. Um, fight each other. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. <laughs> Need your help? What kind of spirit? What else do you know about the harrowing? Did you create all 
lead weapon. So I should go. Um, I need your help. Of course. You are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Would one of these weapons affect the demon? What kind of spirit are you? What are what else do you know about the harrowing? Did you create okay? Um, number one, what or would one of these affect the demon? Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. Um, sure, let's do it. Actually, should we try willpower? How dare you accuse me? I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. Then prove it. Help me uh, fight the demon. Do you challenge helpless mortals to duels? I am sorry. Didn't mean to provoke you. Uh, then help me. You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. Very well, mortal. Prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Go, prove your worth if you must. I am confident you will succeed. I received an item. Sorry about that. I really, really do not like flipping mosquitoes. I just, I'm not sure if you heard me, but I had to flip in, or I had to flip and slap one off my arm. I swear. here to help me what kind of spirit are you wait or why wait for scraps come get some now what do you know about the demon just keep your distance um are you here to help thank you <laughs> nothing can help you be gone surely you have better things to do than bother sloth mortals I tire of you already. I need help defeating a demon. Why are you called a sloth? What are you? I need to go. I need help defeating a demon. You deserve a very nice bath. Why do you refuse me? Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. Be valorous. Be possible that he could teach you to be like him. 
like me? Really teach the mortal to think this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their form to learn to change it. You, on the other hand, little one, might be in a better suited. You let go of the human form, and you will not know. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? He doesn't <clears throat> hiding doesn't solve anything. We need to face our fears. You can help me fight the demon. Thought you were here to help, but you're just a coward. Um, you can help me fight the demon. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching hmm, is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. <laughs> I told you he wasn't going to help us. I also want to learn to teach him. You can. You can't suggest something and change your mind. I mean, you can. Um, why you call it software? Are you? You're it's just useless talking to you. I'm also want to learn. You wish to learn my form, little one. Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour your body. The decision is yours. Um, riddles? Are you joking? I'm not interested. I accept the challenge. Teach. Now the bear for more, I will kill you. Um, I will accept your challenge. Oh, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. Mally has it. Seas with no water, coast with no sand. Armies without people, mountains without land. What am I? You're a map because you can have all those on a map. Map is number forty. That is incorrect. Uh, let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. No. If you have a twitch, you'll use me well. What am I? I am rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Um, I think intelligence. Are you even trying? Oh, tongue. Well, the answer is a tongue. Time to feast. Oh, I missed one and I'd okay. Right. Stand still. What manner of beast? to get rid of you this? am i a bear it feels heavy hmm. close enough go then go defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do i grow weary of your mortal prattling yes i've taught the mouse to all right it's been bothering me i'm tired Creatures ahead. Let me know down in the comment section, guys, if you want me to actually open up each codex entry as we get them. Right here, thank you. 
if I were to open all these up and read through all these every time I get one, or if I could just do like a um, big, big opening, or you know, like a one day a week, just sit down and uh, read these off before we start an episode, or do like, you know, the all of magic or all of characters that are. Where's the bot? Oh, okay. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. I don't think so. Two gets one, you really. F you, uh, sorry. Two gets one, you really want to fight with both. If I lose, the Templar will still cut you down. Then come and get me if you can. Come and get me if you can. I shall. So this creature is your offering mount. Another plaything as per our arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm Interesting. Now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Uh -oh, take out these guys. We we're gonna heal you. Came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. It's all, it's all too easy. The ones you prepared for me, what were the names? Sounds like your help is unusual. Why? Uh, too easy. That is because you are a true mage, one of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up and failed, like they tried with me. I regret my part in it. But you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. Um, so, so what is it that you think you can get from me? Anything to survive, like an animal or worse? I understand necessity. What, uh, what do you think you can get from me? You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. I'm starting to think the other demon was at my test, let you in. I'll find my, I'll find mages away from the Templars, we'll get you out. Not my problem, Miles. I'm starting to think the other demon was at my test. What? What do you... Of course it was. What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? You? That's uh, a big boy. Keep your wits about you, mage. Treat us never end. All right, that was interesting. Are you all right? Say something, please. Um, Jowen, demon, die, demon. Where am I? Uh, demon, die, demon. It's me, Jowen. Calm down. Just try to relax. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from home. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? We're friends, but don't ask me the... You know, I can't tell you. It was harrowing. 
for the test of ability to thaw. Stop pestering me. Going. We're friends, but you know I can't answer you. <laughs> so much for friendship. I leave you alone then. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me to my house. They'll summon you when you're ready. Any day now, don't worry about it. I passed my test. That's all I care about. I'm not telling you when you're ready. Been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. Maybe you're just not ready yet. Does everyone doesn't everyone go to the harrowing? What are you talking about? You're just you're just there. No, I'm afraid of what will happen to me. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. You worry too much. It's annoying. What's the rite of tranquility? They're not going to kill you, Jowen. What does it have to do? With uh, what's the right of tranquil? You've seen the tranquil around the tower, like a wen who runs the stock room. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice and his eyes are lifeless. I think you're reading too much into it. What did they do to him? I'll watch for that next time I see. No. I think you're reading too much into it. I shouldn't waste your time. I was supposed to tell you to see Irvin as soon as you woke up. I should go talk to him immediately. You better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. All right. I'm going to go talk to Irving, but that's going to be the end of the uh, episode one. But let's go talk to Irving or Irving out this way, around this way, I think. I don't know. This it be pretty interesting. Oh no, this is the way out. Okay. Very well. All the way around the circle. I doubt it will let me. Nope. Cabinet. It is begun. Rune, interesting. Why does it show that I can go down there? But it, oh, it does not. It just didn't let me earlier. Like, I don't know, it was weird. It shall be done. It shall be done. Enter. There's tranquils. I'm not going to talk to him. We're just going to go and do the quest, which, if I'm not mistaken, up this way and all the way around. I don't think there's a door behind him. Oh, there is a door. Maybe it's going to be the trip of having to walk all the way around. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Win. Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you held such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry's supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Then for me, hello, First Enchanter, what's going on? Um, uh, First Enchanter. Ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Reverend, where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. Uh, this light has been summoned. Uh, pleased to meet you, Grey Warden of the Tower. What is he doing here? Uh, I'm pleased to meet you. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. 
That's all you wanted to tell me? Why? Who are we fighting? I'd like to defend Freon. I'd like to defend Freon. The dark spot invading. We need all the help we can get, especially from the circle. Um, that's all you wanted to tell me. What are the dark spawn? What do you mean? Dark spawn are a door problem. What are actually dark spawn a door problem? They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds and threaten to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor lad with talk of blights and dark spawn. This is a happy day for him. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The heavens behind you. Your phylactery is sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of magi. Thank you, First Enchanter. A phylactery. My leash, you mean? That's it, after throwing me to the wolves. Um, my leash. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? Blood is taken from all apprentices when they first come to the tower, and these are preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our tower responsibly. You have done it. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Thank you. I'm glad to be part of Circle. That's all I get. What happens now? Oh, I'm glad to be a part of it. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. Can I leave the tower? Not yet. Remember, the tower's walls protect us as much as they protect others from us. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? Um, it would be my pleasure. Does Duncan have... I just don't cannot know where his quarters are if I must. It'd be my place. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Alright. We are gonna end it there. I would like to thank you all for watching the very first episode of my Dragon Age Origins Let's Play. Um I'm gonna try to do a Monday, third or Monday, Wednesday, and Friday upload, and possibly a stream on Twitch. We'll see how it goes on uh, Sunday, and then Monday would be the upload of that stream, possibly. Not 100 percent sure on the streaming yet, but if you guys are interested in seeing me uh, streaming the game live, please comment down below. While you're in the comment section, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I want to thank you all for watching. Have a good one.